Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I just had a little bit of time and I wanted to check in to just do a reflection video on my very first mission trip. It was truly one of the most incredible experiences that I've ever had in my entire life. It really allowed me to grow not only as a doctor, but also just as a person. It really made me feel a lot of gratitude, I think. It really helped me really solidify my medical knowledge. Just a little recap, week one, we were in San Pedro and at three different clinics. We had a clinic at the church, one of the schools, then the third one was at the clinic that we set up at this patient refugee camp. Week one was absolutely incredible. We stayed at the Kellogg Center. The staff there took so much care of us. They were so incredible and it was just a great place to stay. It was a lot better. Like in my head, I had a preconceived notion of like what to expect just because like I didn't want to go in with super high expectations had managed my expectations appropriately i think the place definitely exceeded all my expectations i was fully ready to you know be mentally prepared with like minimal running water we were told that there was air conditioning but i had mentally just been like okay what if power goes out and but none of that happened it was a smooth fantastic stay it was very comfortable and we had such an incredible team of banish um, interpreters they were absolutely fantastic and they were with us for the two weeks we developed like a close friendship and i am so grateful that i got to get to know them and, and you've seen them like we we just became friends and it was so great for them to participate and like help us out because without them honestly we wouldn't really be able to see any patients I mean, we could, but like the number of patients that we saw definitely would have been way less and the effectiveness with which things were translated would have been significantly decreased. <laughs> like there's only so much you can do with Google Translate. There's a lot of things that get lost in translation and having them there was incredible. So yeah, it was great. I think from a medical standpoint, I got to see a lot of, like a lot of things I typically would see, I think, in my day-to-day -day practice here in North America. So there wasn't, I wouldn't say like, like anything outside of my wheelhouse in terms of bread and butter medicine. I think that the only difference is that there were more parasitic infections. So we did have medications available for that. I think it was very different for me and I had to really, it was challenging for me because I am so used to relying on lab tests and imaging to truly guide my medical management and while that's feasible in where we are north america it's not always possible depending on where you are so it was good in a way because it allowed me to really rely on my clinical judgment and having a, a, taking a very good history to understand and to develop a differential diagnosis to still use guideline based therapy so it was really good in that sense second week was we were at a different place with San Matias and uh, we had a different center. We spent several days. We were in two different clinics as well there. So it was a little bit of a different experience. I think generally the patients were about the same in terms of like what they came in with and these patients were I think were more able to get medication referrals and stuff so that was good but I do think that being there was really helpful in terms of access. We had a couple of hiccups here and there but overall the experience was fantastic and I think that those patients really have a place in my heart. But overall like honestly I think that I would do it again. This was my very first medical mission trip so I really didn't know what to expect and it just like based on you know everything that I've read and like heard from people that have gone on it and I think that like if there's a possible way I would really like to incorporate this into my practice like when I'm attending that I just learned so much just being there and I got better with my Spanish although my Spanish interpreter friends may disagree <laughs> but they taught me a lot so it was great yeah like I'm still doing Duolingo so that like hopefully my Spanish will get better and I can go back and like be better at Spanish but yeah I got to try like all of the different foods and it was great because we really got to immerse ourselves in the culture and um they were kind enough to take us around and we got to do a lot of cool things in Santo Domingo and Boca Chica so really got to experience the Dominican culture it's absolutely vibrant and beautiful and food was fantastic I mean it was a little limiting for me because I was vegetarian but still like when we went out to restaurants and stuff people were very kind and accommodating I still felt like I got a good meal whenever we went out and um, did that. I would definitely say for people who are trying 
or interested in pursuing medical mission trips, I think it's always important to realize that it's going to be very difficult. It truly was. It was physically and mentally challenging, especially being outside in the heat for hours and hours at end. It does start to wear in on you, but I think that if you keep the mission in mind and focus on care that you're providing and the difference that you're making and you focus on the patients, it really does feel like a fulfilling sense of tiredness at the end of the day. So you're exhausted but you feel like you made a difference. I think that feeling would make me want to come back and do it again. I felt like it was just a great learning experience. And then when you come back home, you just feel really, you feel like you just lived a more enriching life, I think, because you get a lot of experiences that you don't get here and it's truly a privilege. So yeah, if you want to do mission, medical mission trips, don't be fooled. It's definitely hard. It's definitely difficult. You do have to be flexible. You do have to, you know, be a little bit more accommodative because you have a lot of different personalities, language barrier, cultural barriers. But I think that if you do go in with an open mind and be willing to push yourself out of your comfort zone and challenge yourself a little bit, it definitely is worthwhile. And I've just made so many memories that I will literally never forget. So yeah, that was my little check-in going back to daily life in Eastern North Carolina. <laughs> All right, well, I'll check in with you guys later. Bye.